CEO Ronnie Glick from Creating the Difference. I'm going to show you how to find the positive access point with no other tools than a piece of tape. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get you a piece of tape that's about a half inch uh, in, in size, which we actually have one of them right here. I'll show it to you real quick. Doesn't have to be that big. Okay. And let's say you're trying to find the positive access point, but you really have no idea on how to do that. I'm going to show you how to do that. So what you're going to do, you're going to look at the bowling ball first. Now, this player is a right-handed player, so the track is on the left side of the ball like it's supposed to be, which means his access point that we're looking for is going to be on the positive side or the right side of the ball. But you may not necessarily know where at. So one of the options that you have is to take the piece of tape that you've got and just stick it on the ball somewhere. You stick it on the ball somewhere, have the player throw it again, and see if that off of his hand doesn't move, doesn't wobble. If it doesn't move, doesn't wobble, you found the positive access point. If it moves or it wobbles, then you have it. Obviously, we have it. So what you would do is you'll move it again. This is something that anybody can do. Uh, it's best to have somebody film you doing it because if somebody films you doing it, then they're gonna be able to see right off your hand. If you're trying to find it yourself, by the time you see the ball, it's going to be out on the lanes uh, eight to 10 feet, which is too far to find it off your hand. It's gonna move. So let's go ahead and move this tape. We'll put it right here this time and see if we're closer. Now, all we're doing is just making an adjustment. We know where we had it didn't work, so we moved it down a little bit to the right. We could have moved it to the, to the left as well, but we were gonna move it to the right, and we're gonna have him throw it again. The other way to do this is to go get an armadillo from the pro shop and have them go find it for you. But if you don't have that luxury, you can find it yourself. Not it. Now see, that did line up kind of halfway down the lane, but we're not interested in halfway down the lane. We want it off of his hand. So now we're gonna make another adjustment based off of that. Hey, we got some pins to fall too already. That's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and make another adjustment now based off of that. And we'll see, so I'm moving it out just a little bit more is what I'm doing to see if that fixes it. Let's see how close we are. All right. You want it right off of his hand, not to wobble. Just like that. And then what you can do is you can pause the video, you can run it back, and you can verify that off of his hand it's not moving very much, if not, or not at all actually. And by doing that, you've then found the positive access point. Then you'll want to go to the pro shop and have them find out what that measurement is because that's ultimately the key here. What is the bowler's positive access point? In this case, you'll have to go to the pro shop and they'll be able to measure, make a measurement that goes over and up or down depending on if they need to um, to be able to find out the bowler's positive access point. Once you have the positive access point, you can begin to drill the bowling ball for the consumer or the pro shop can begin to drill the bowling ball for the consumer and they can begin to place the pin relative to that access point to begin to determine how the reaction is going to be for the bowling ball. So now you got a little more insight on how you can find the positive access point. If you have more questions or need more information, make sure you check us out at ctdbowling.com. Ronald Hicklin, CEO from Create the Difference. Have a great day.